How how do you do this? You could literally iron on those abs. Seriously. Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to the Youngins season two. We're back with the boys. Oh, Freya just went off to work. Nathan actually, Nathan, I, I just read his tattoo. Kai has the day off today and because he is now in the fashion career, I kind of want to like have him work out a little bit, make some friends at the gym. Oh, sorry, Nathan. I didn't mean for you to clean up. Oopsie daisy. Oh, well, Nathan's going to clean up for me. As you guys saw just before I fully started this part, I did give Penny Pizzazz a quick little makeover. I did keep her in her original outfit and then just like added on some extra ones because I feel like she's not Penny without that outfit if I'm quite honest with you. We're gonna use this and then clean it because it is disgusting. It has some proper mangy green and flies around it so we're gonna clean up that before um, he heads out and then I don't know what I want to do today. I don't know whether I want to throw a party or or I want to have Nathan go back home and visit Chloe and Jared and his new little brother. 
I haven't really decided. I think we'll probably go visit them because I feel like we should, considering he's our baby brother and we are still like strangers with him. We're gonna go visit him. We might still throw a party. I think I might wait a little bit. I do want to throw like a Halloween party. I added in loads of like Halloween little things into the boy's apartment just to make it look a bit more festive for the occasion. I feel like both Kai and Nathan would throw themselves into Halloween and the holiday itself. I know I do. I actually just got in touch with a place that I'm going to on Saturday night with Danielle and her brother. We go, like I've been a fair few times now, but it's like, you guys have seen them. They're like, um, like spooky places with haunted houses and like loads of attractions and there's like a maze where zombies chase after you. It's basically, do you know, like the live actor scare marathons that people do. So I'm going to one of those on Saturday and I actually just got in touch with them. I'm waiting for management to get back to me because I emailed them like, hey, I have a YouTube channel and like, obviously I don't want to take away from the experience for other people, like if my camera distracts people or anything, um, but I kind of want to record it for you guys. So even if they say no, I'm going to try sneaking my GoPro in because my GoPro is literally like this big and doesn't have a screen on it. So no one's gonna get distracted by a mini GoPro. So hopefully I will have at least some content for you guys. I actually recorded it last year, but I didn't ask for permission and I only got like parts of it and it just, it wasn't gonna make a good video. So I didn't actually upload it to my channel, but hopefully this year management will actually get back to me and be like, yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's pretty much free prom promotion for them. I bought my ticket. I bought Danielle's ticket and I bought her brother's ticket. So so it's not like it's an ad or anything or sponsored like I just want to vlog it so hopefully they'll get back to me and say that it's all good I'm um I'm looking forward to that it should be fun I don't know whether I want to do like a murder mystery again this year I haven't really decided but we'll wait and see I am one of those people who likes to throw myself into Halloween I never used to like Actually, no, I always did. Like, even as a kid, my parents were super into Halloween. Like, way more than people in the UK usually are. In the UK, it's definitely got bigger over the last few years, but America always seemed like the goals at Halloween time. Because <laughs> you guys have, like, all the decorations and, like, some houses go crazy on it. I mean, we used to go pretty hardcore on it when we were a kid, so I can't really complain. We are going to go to the Sky fitness gym. You know what? We're gonna take Nina there. We're gonna um, meet up with Nina. She's really into fitness as well, so I kind of want to hang out with her and yeah, just to hang out with her really. Oh, both the boys have like a slight romance with Penny Pizzazz. It's really awkward. It's because I gave her like an intro, um, a enchanting introduction through both of them because like, Kai was trying to get on her good side and he kind of, like, dragged Nathan along because he's like, Nathan, you're single, like, you can flirt with Penny for me and, like, win her over. I really like her makeover, actually. I kind of went for, like, the influencer, um, kind of look to her. Who's this? Oh, Lacey. Hey, Lacey. Lacey's here working out. She was never really into fitness, but she's got really into it recently. Um, so let's go here. And then I also, I need to update my road to fame because there's apparently a lot of new stuff and I haven't updated the mod. So I definitely need to do that. But we're going to record a video using the back camera. Be like, hey guys, today we're going to be working out. Yep, here we go. We're at the gym. Like, this is my view. This orange brick wall right here. <laughs> oh, Lacey just stole the machine. Oh, now she's got off. I was going to say, Lacey just stole the machine that I wanted to go on. So let's go work out. And Nina's over here too. Hopefully we'll be able to speak to her whilst we're... Oh my god, I've never actually seen anyone kick that. I feel like because she's such a high, like, athletic skill um, because of her yoga... She actually um, just managed to kick it. I've never seen anybody kick it. Or maybe I have. Maybe I just have never paid attention to it. We can't talk to her. She's a bit too far away, I think. But yeah, she's absolutely smashing that uh, punch bag. She's not even worn it. Freaking hell! She is a savage! Literally beating the crap out of it. 
oh my god, it's actually scaring me how like hardcore you are going on this bag at the moment. Seriously, calm down. We need her to be our personal trainer because she's like, she's got it going on. Nina, you're aggressive and I like that. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. <laughs> and Kai's just here being a lazy sod. He is a lazy sim, so he genuinely hates this kind of stuff, which is kind of hilarious considering he, like, wants to be a model. And, you know, models usually have pretty good, like, fitness routines and stuff, so I do want him to get into that kind of stuff. Um, but he is a lazy sim, so he kind of hates it at the same time. Oh my god, she's even doing, like, push-ups in front of a mirror, like, looking at her technique. Look at her abs. Do you see those? Like, holy smokes. Those are the most chiseled abs I have ever seen in my entire life. How, how do you do this? You could literally iron on those abs. Seriously. You could break a wrist if you ever tried to punch her in the stomach. Whew. Oh my god, everyone's like far too good at working out. Everyone's on like really steep inclines. Hi there. Yes, help me. I'm dying. <sighs> help. <laughs> oh no, he's given up. He's like, yep. Yeah. Nope, I'm done. <laughs> as soon as the PT comes over, he's like, nope, not doing this, not happening. Let's go push it to the limits. Let's try and uh, get this done. I might actually buy like one of these for our apartment so we can work on our like definition. Oh, my arms are still so sore. I forgot that I, I did a thing on, it was on Tuesday and it was something like way out of my comfort zone. I've never stepped foot in a gym. I have no like worries about admitting that. I've never been to a gym in my entire life. I used to be super sporty when I was younger. However, now I just sit and play video games. I mean, I don't actually know how I'm still slim because it's a bit of a joke to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, now all my muscles are so sore. I'm hopefully gonna have a video up about what I got up to um, on Saturday. If I have time to like edit and make the video, it will be up on Saturday. Today. Hopefully. Fingers crossed I'll get it done. If not, it'll be up sometime next week. Um, but it was a really fun little opportunity for me and I really, really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video that I have going up about it. I'll explain it all in the video, but yeah, my muscles have never been so sore. Like I have worked out muscles that day that I have not worked out in the years and you can tell like I even had a radox bath yesterday and it did F all <laughs> it really didn't help me oh I just like chipped my tooth um yeah it really didn't help me whatsoever oh people are uh oh he's the really fit guy that I was gonna have uh Chloe get with at one point what are you actually? Deforestation? I feel like we should go join in. Let's go join in the protest. Kai is definitely the type of guy to see a random protest and just go join in. So go, 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 Kai. You can also post it to your social media. What's better than that? What's better than being a good person than showing off on your social media and making people think you're a good person? Even Vlad joining in. Oh, Vlad, even though you're a vampire, you care about the environment. That makes me so happy. He's like going for it as well. Good for you, Vlad. Don't let anyone tell you any differently. Oh, we're all fighting for different causes though. I feel like this rally isn't so great. We are literally all just protesting different causes right now. Oh, Paxton's here. I didn't know Paxton worked out. Actually, Paxton looks really freaking built right now. He's got like some broad shoulders and then like a tiny little pea head. The pea head definitely runs in uh, this family. It definitely runs in the snow family because like Haley has a pea head. Um, everyone kind of has a pea head. How gorgeous is Paxton? I love him. I love him. <laughs> Kai's like, this is too much effort. Oh, and Harvey's here as well. What is going on? Our dad's here, our brother's here. Whoa, Harvey is looking good. Holy smokes, man. I am impressed. Color me impressed. You are one daddy for sure. Again, 
has a pee head though. <laughs> I told you, everybody has a pee head. Everybody. Oh my god, this rally is actually getting pretty good. I'm like impressed by everyone. We still got a little bit to go. Um, but yeah, he's protesting and then why can't I click on you? Hi! I want to click on you. I just want to have him record it. Right, stop protesting. And then, road to fame, we are gonna record using your front phone camera. Get that vlog footage. This is great vlog footage. Like, people will love this. People will really think that you care about the environment. Way to get those vegans on your side. <laughs> Which I could never do. I mean, I could never be a vegan. Props to anyone who is. I just personally couldn't do it. Ugh, he just farted. He just literally like crop dusted everyone. Ugh, he proper like, <laughs> he proper just farted and then he walked away. Like, nope, wasn't me. Don't know what you're talking about. What is his um, thingy at, Simstagram? It's at level three, it's at 63%. Let's try and get this up to level four. Um, let's respond to comments a couple of times. Uh, respond to comments again. And then you can also... Uh, do, do, do. You can take a selfie. Let's get those up. Come on, 67. It's definitely like getting smaller to go up. Like I remember when we first started doing it, it was like... 10% each time. Now it's definitely not that. It's definitely going a lot slower. Um, I don't actually know like what his fame level is. I don't know how many followers he has or anything like that. So we should probably check it. Um, photos. Does he need to do anything for work as well? I have not checked that either. No. He should, he should be doing better in work. Kai has no fame. Oh great. He's a nobody. Love that. <laughs> People love what I post. I never knew I was this entertaining. You're alright, okay? Don't let it get to your head too much. Um, we'll take another video and... Are there any? I don't think there are. I was gonna say, are there any yoga mats here? Because we could definitely do some yoga. But there's not even like a sauna here, which I thought there would be. Hmm. I might like edit this gym up. I mean, he's wearing a towel. Paxton, why are you wearing a towel if there's no sauna here? There's no pool here. This gym's pretty small when you think about it. Like, it's pretty tiny. But it's got a nice view. Helicopter! Right, I think we're gonna go back home. Who are we talking to? Why are we talking to some <laughs> random ass sims? I have no idea. Oh, look, there's Beefcake Harry. He's like proper beefcake. <laughs> He's huge, man. Whoever thought that Harry would turn into this hunk of meat? When we first met him, he like he was like the tiny little brother of Haley in the first season, who had a crush on his older sister's best friend, and he just seemed like a little bit of a baby. And now he's just like a proper hunk of meat, and I actually love him. Um, but we're gonna travel home and get Kai cleaned up before Nathan comes home and then we're gonna go to Chloe and Jared's and meet his new little brother which will be very fun. I'm very excited for it. In the last part I was talking about how like this like let's play is quite relaxed for me at the moment and like a lot of you guys didn't seem to mind that. I mean we have a lot of drama going on in Parenthood and 13 Souls so if you're watching this but you're not watching those I'd highly suggest you like catch up on definitely 13 souls that's got a lot of freaking drama um but yeah i feel like you guys would enjoy 13 souls if you want the drama side of my channel whereas this one is more relaxed and kind of one of you guys put it perfectly actually i can't remember who it was i'm sorry but i did read your comments before i started uh, recording this part but one of you said that it kind of fits the theme of like two boys like entering their own lives and like living in the big city and kind of just playing it by ear. I mean, that's what we do in this Let's Play and I feel like it does 
fit the tone of the storyline and the let's play very well. Like, we kind of play it by ear. We don't really plan too many things because that's kind of how, like, the big city is. Like, you can never truly plan anything. Unless you're going on, like, a city break to, like, a specific city and you want to see all that stuff. Like, if you just live there, you kind of just go by ear and, like, do what you want to do and like throw parties when you want to throw parties, go out to bars when you want to go out to bars and things like that. Although I do want to add more stuff into this world for the boys to do like a cinema maybe, um, maybe some like classes, rock climbing, I want to get Kai definitely into. I was meant to get him into that and I never really did. Um, so I need to add like a proper like rock climbing wall and stuff because I do want him to get into that as well and kind of make some groups out of it, I suppose. We could do that now, quite honestly. Uh, let's create a group. We're gonna call it, um, we're gonna call it the Rockies. And it's gonna be Open Invitation Club Hangout. I think we did add in like a gym. Yeah, it is like a, okay. So we're gonna add, I feel like Jared would be into rock climbing. Harry would definitely be into it, so we'll invite Harry. Um, and then I kind of want some people like that we don't really know. I feel like Ted would be into it. And then we can kind of, Nina would be into it. And we'll kind of like add certain people requirements. We don't need any requirements, but I'm going to encourage you to, I'm surprised go rock climbing isn't one unless it is and i'm like actually just missing it maybe it's just part of workout so we made a little club so we'll be able to do that a little bit more frequently and now we're just really waiting on nathan to get back oh what's this i think madison's calling us i can't get you out of my mind lately want to go on a date and get some st oh sorry i'd kind of want to hang out with Nathan so not gonna hang out with you um but we're just gonna head straight on over to our mum and dad's hopefully they've got some food in the fridge that's every kid's dream isn't it when you go back to visit your parents I mean I'm living with my parents right now um until Dan and I like get, get enough money saved up behind us to move in together um but yeah that is the dream like, when I was at uni, I could not wait just to come home and just raid my parents' fridge. Because when you're in uni, like, I ate pretty well in university. Um, but I still didn't have, like, the best diet in the world. Like, I kind of just made the same things over and over again. You kind of get comfortable and you make quick, easy dinners. Like, salmon and pasta and stuff like that. So, I definitely got used to the same food. So, when, like, I came home, I was like, oh... We're gonna have a full fridge, like, constantly, and it's the best feeling ever, especially at Christmas time. Christmas is legit the best time of year for food, because our fridge and, like, the amount of snacks we have in our house, ooh, I could just eat them all up. Right, is the baby in here? Hey, Donal, how you doing? Oh, he's asleep. I kind of don't want to wake him up then. Um, is there any food in? Please tell me you guys have food. Oh man, just fruit and yogurt parfait. Hey, right, let's serve some dinner. We'll go for a taco casserole. Let's do it. Hopefully we won't get kicked out of our parents' home for being rude for cooking a meal for them. Chloe's up here playing, playing like Sims Medieval while she can. <laughs> while Stonal's asleep, she's like, yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna play some, uh, some Medieval. <laughs> I, did Jared just go upstairs as well? This house is pretty small. I actually don't think Jared hit, is here. I think he might be in work. Um, so Nathan's just gonna make some dinner for these guys, which is quite nice of him. I'm quite impressed that he's just decided that he's gonna make some food for his parents. Um, and then hopefully the baby will wake up in a little bit. He's flat out, although he's not got any like Z's coming from him, so I don't actually know if he's asleep or not. But we'll we'll uh, we'll wake him up. Where where did you just put that food? Oh, it's in there. It's in the oven. Sweet. Let's grab a serving. And where's the TV? We are gonna watch channel. 
We are gonna go for politism. Oh, hey, you just you just appeared down here, Chloe. That was a good magic trick. I'm impressed. <laughs> are you now a magician? Feel like you are. I just made taco casserole for you. It's right here. I'm gonna put that. Oh, I can't put that in your fridge. I was gonna be a nice person and put that in the fridge for you, but I can't because. I'm apparently in your house and I can't put stuff in your fridge, even though it was a nice gesture. I do not appreciate that. Right, after we have done this, stop wanting to shout forbidden words. You have a baby brother in the house. You can't be using that kind of language anymore. You're an older brother. You're a big sibling who your little baby is going to look up to when he ages up into a toddler, which I think I'm going to do um, pretty soon, to be honest, because... Babies are boring in The Sims 4. We all know that. <laughs> they don't really do much. So I will probably age him up into a toddler so we can at least kind of see what he looks like. Like I am fairly intrigued to see what he's going to look like. Oh right, come on. Finish that. He finished it. Oh, bad aftertaste. Well, you're the one who made it. <laughs> you can't be mad at anyone else but yourself. You were the one who created it. Oh, why won't this go in the bin? I hate my life. Okay, there we go. Oh, he's got his... Oh, we just woke him up. He's not happy. Oh, God. We reached parenting level one. <gasps> We're not your parent. We're going to change his dirty diaper. Why did he start crying as soon as we picked him up? <laughs> This is exactly what happened when my niece was a baby. Whenever I went anywhere near her, she would just cry. And it was so heartbreaking because, like, all my other nieces, like, loved me. And then this one, whenever I went near her, she would just, like, bawl. And it makes you feel like such a bad person. You're like, oh my god. If a baby can't trust me, who the hell else is gonna trust me? Like, this little womb nugget can't even freaking trust me to look after them i have no hope with the rest of the human race who actually have brains and can see right through me <laughs> oh man poor little babies i can't believe he just started crying as soon as we picked him up that is so rude do you know who we are we're your older brother you should show your elders some respect donal I need to stop having a go at a tiny little child. Nathan's also been kicked out of his, like, room for this baby as well. Like, this used to be Nathan's room. Whenever he slept over, he could sleep in here. However, now it's just, like, a little nursery, which is really depressing. I'm not surprised that... I mean, I'm surprised that Nathan didn't start crying. <laughs> He's a very over-emotional person. But guys, I think I'm going to end this part here. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like this part, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see. And I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye, guys.